Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to day two, a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Road to glory. Finger points to the sky. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor, Elgato Gaming. You guys know it by now, and if you didn't already know, I'm using the new Wave 3 microphone uh, to record my voice for this video. It sounds great, doesn't it? If you'd like to learn more about the Wave and Wavelink software and all of the other products that I use from Elgato to create my content every single day, then check down below in the description. There's a link to my profile page down there. Thank you in advance for checking that out. And of course, if as we move on into today's episode, if you'll do me the, the greatest favor of hitting me with a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Two and a half thousand likes is our goal. Can you make that happen for us on this lovely Wednesday? That'd be great. And of course, subscribe as well if you're new. So, today, I... I decided, you know, I, did, I made a decision for myself that I do want Usman Dembele. You can tell by the thumbnail of this video and the title or whatever, uh, I am going to get Usman Dembele. That is what we're going to be working towards and grinding towards today. Uh, and in order for that to be a little bit cheaper than I had hoped uh, or expected, which is a good thing, uh, we're actually going to complete some of these 82 to 88 upgrades. I know that they are a l pretty much the same as half of a 85 to 92 upgrade, but I just, they ran out and this is what we've got. And I've already got the really high end fodder. I could actually just use some of the, you know, an 82 to 88 rated players. Any of them would be very helpful. So the fact that we're going to bring seven into the club here, just because we've got seven of these packs to do is, is great. Now, 82s, some of them literally cost 5k. Crazy. This market is nuts. Um, so, you know, to get an 84, well, that's worth like 10k. These these SBCs, if you are using untradeable non-rare golds and then bronzes, are just fodder dream, re really. They're still worth it, in my opinion. Unless, of course, you are holding on to your club in case they re-release those other upgrades again. There, there is, of course, potential for that. And, of course, potential for better and different upgrades to come out as well uh, as we enter the, uh, the third set of um of of summer heat in the next few days so you know we, we've we've been fairly lucky the first few packs have actually been all right we ended up getting an 86 rated orange uh pavlenka but then we struck this we struck a 82 rudiger which one is the worst rating you can get but two is a duplicate untradeable so i had to make a decision or discard him but I didn't really want to do that because I know the value of 82s is up a little bit right now. And all it did was force my hand to start the SBC that I really wanted to be doing for the last uh, the last few days, few episodes. I'm, I'm, you guys know it by now. Uh, I've been talking about this SBC since it came out. And I've just been like, as we would say in Ipswich, I've been um and ah and about whether or not to actually get it done. Um... This SPC in particular, I'm a little bit sad to let go of Nanny. I'm not sad at all to let go of this Hazard. I, I put it out on Twitter and a lot of you, it was it was very like 50-50 as to whether or not you, any of you guys out there would submit him into this SPC. Because I know that he holds a bigger value than a 94. Um, but I don't use him. And the five games that I have used him, I didn't like him. And it's the time of year where if I can get a player that I do like by using a player that I don't need, don't use and don't like... I'm going to do it. So please, don't be too harsh on me and down below. Uh, all our clubs are different, right? That Hazard might slot perfectly into your starting 11. Unfortunately, it doesn't into mine. You know, we've we've grinded our way to getting slightly better stuff. Um, but what I will take, and what I absolutely will take and be very happy with, is an 87 rated uh, Future Stars Lodi from the Rare Electrum pack that we got from that 88 rated squad. Now, these are tradable reward packs, so I can sell that on if I want, which is marvelous stuff. Uh, there's also an orange Demir Bay as well in there, which is, again, going to be at least 10, 11,000 coins. So that pack right there was worth a good 35,000 coins to us, which is awesome. Brilliant stuff. Um, uh, and because we freed up the uh, Rudiger, we can now move back onto these 82 to 88s. We've got like four more that we hadn't opened. We get an 82 Leon Bailey to start things off. So we've just recently had uh, 82 Rudiger, then 82 Bailey. And then we're going to get 82 again here. So three in a row. Uh, and this time it's Bauman. But again, like I said, like some of these players, uh, they're almost still worth it. 
because I needed this type of player just to complete a couple of SBCs. Uh, so we currently have one part of Dembele done. So we are, as we like to say, we are like committed to the SBC. I then get four in a row, 82. So that's, you know, we've been a little bit unfortunate. We started well by getting an 84... Um, uh, who is it? Julian Brandt and then an 86 Pavlenka. It was a good start. Uh, but then unfortunately, even this pack as well, we get an 82. So uh, it was as though the uh, the luck had been changed and tuned down a little bit so that we could just get uh, just get 82s. But again, like I don't re I don't really mind. No matter what we were getting here, it was going to be useful for our uh, Usman Dembele grind. So the most expensive squad done. We move on to the, well, equally as expensive squad. Uh, another 88 overall. This is about 250 to 300k per SBC. We've not had to buy a single player. Right there saves us 500,000 coins of a 900k SBC. He was 790 the other day. He's up to 920 now. Um, which means I probably should have done it the other day. But also, we've saved a little bit more money by doing some more upgrades. Uh, we also get a walkout from the from the pack from this. We get a Spanish centre-back, and I was just hoping it was going to be Sergio Ramos. Uh, but I don't know if he's got a different card in packs right now. He probably does. Probably has a Team of the Year nominee or something like that. Um, but it's an 88-rated PK. So, good stuff. 88-rated, tradable. If I don't need to use him in, uh, in, the, in, in these requirements, if for some reason he doesn't fit into the squads that I'm using... I can sell him on. So we've done two of the most expensive parts. Just a few squads to go now. And they are lower rated. And again, we can complete this one. I think we bought um, Eric Bailly and the goalkeeper, Rui Patricio. Other than that, again, players were in the club. We got rid of 96 Ilicic in that one. Really helped with the rating. Premium goal players pack for this one. Uh, and I was willing to just use all the fodder that I had in my club to bring the price down. Team of the week walkout. Just what you love to see. It is Dutch centre-back. I was hoping there was some sort of inform Van Dijk. I didn't know if there was or wasn't. But it's uh, an 87 De Vrij, Which, again, man, that's 24,500 coins. 25k. Something in the order of that. That's money. You know, I reckon that we've, we're have we getting on to earning 100k back from this SBC. And you will have seen there, you might have just seen it in the top corner, 965,000 coins or something is what I had in my club. I then needed to go and buy the final two SBCs, all right? I did have an 87 Verratti, untradeable, that saved me a little bit in that, in that squad right there. But uh, I am down to 858k after completing that one. So that squad, which was supposed to be about 140k, cost me... About 110, we can we can say, uh, if you want. We can sort of round it to that. Um, so, saved a little bit of money there. We don't get anything from the, this pack, which, uh, you know, disappoints me. But, hey, it was just a, 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 a Electrum, no, a mixed, a prime mixed pack. Premium mixed pack. I think it's a premium mixed pack, maybe. Depends how many rares were in there. But we do get a Paderborn player. 6.8k. I mean, that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? So, actually, we did make money from that pack. You love to see it. Uh, there was just no one great popping up. Uh, you know, we didn't get boards or a walkout or anything like that. Uh, and then this is the last squad that I needed to go and buy. Uh, it cost me, well, uh, I can't remember what my coin balance is at. But I think this one sat at about 90 to 100,000 coins. So, uh, you know, it brings us into the 700Ks with a couple of players actually still to sell. So that's good. Uh, you know, we paid going rate for these players, just literally whatever they cost. Uh, it was a slightly heightened market. So this squad in particular, this one and the, the next cheapest one were more expensive than they should be. But Usman Dembele is complete. I finally own him. Now, a lot of people have said a lot of great stuff. A lot of people have said a lot of bad stuff about him. There's been no chance for me to try him out with a loan version or anything like that. All I know is that I love 5-star, five 5-star five players on this game. He's one of them. He looks to be one of the better players on the game. That's all I'm saying. I think he's going to be great. I would regret not doing this SBC. So I've done it. All right? That's what I wanted to do. Uh, so welcome to the club. Very excited to see 93-rated Usman Dembele coming into our squad. 99 pace. 98 dribbling, 92 shooting, 91 passing. Five star, five star. Uh, and with a sniper chem star, we're going to max him out in the dribbling and shooting departments pretty much, which is exactly what we need. What he doesn't have that Ribery does, 
strength. Will that be an issue in the weekend league? I've started to notice it on Neymar, as you guys know. We, we shall see. We shall see. Um, but like I said, I just really wanted him. I know I could have done two prime icon packs. Probably could have also then done the, uh, uh, the, the Premier League guaranteed tots pack. Potentially could still do that one just by buying it, depending on the price of it. But realistically, I've got to look at myself and be like, what players would get into my squad? Or would I just be disappointed? And if it's just likely to be disappointment... I sort of wonder why you would bother doing it, right? Like, I know for the content, but there's also... If you get something rubbish, which is likely to happen, it's for the rubbish content, innit? So, I decided to sell the, the fairly expensive players that I had left. Only literally, like, four or five players. But it, being some special items and a PK, it was going to make me some money. And actually, we will, we will get up towards 850k again by selling them on. Which means, if we start at 965 and we can get back up to 850, 115k net spend to get that Usman Dembele, I have had a worldie right there. That's ridiculous. That is that is what using your fodder can do. Alright. So, time to adjust the team. And this is not going to be final for the weekend league. There is time and, and, and plenty of money at my disposal to make many changes if I want to. Uh, but I had this sort of idea in my head, all right, where we could get the French players down the left-hand side, get the Liverpool players and stuff down the right-hand side. I've sort of talked to you about this before in yesterday's episode, right? Um, so this was sort of like the first draft of, of the idea that I had. Uh, I think we then made it sort of work just by putting in... Uh, changing the team around again slightly. There we go. Ibra goes in on 8km up top. Uh, Dembele is still on 9 or 10, which is fine. And then instead of Mane, we bring in uh, Fabinho. So Fabinho and Ndombele would be the two that we play. Or we could literally just put uh, Wijnaldum in if we wanted to play him over Ndombele or over Fabinho, whichever way we wanted to go. Uh, so we'd have an 8km uh, Zlatan, a 7km Fabinho, and then a 7km Mendy. And the rest of the squad would be all good. So uh, yeah, I mean that's a, I mean that's a very summer heaty squad, isn't it? Like I think uh, eight out of the eleven players are summer heat, and one of them's an icon, and two of them are tots. So uh, it is that card design and 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 the the very light coloured card design is sort of all over the squad. Can you remember just a few weeks ago I was saying how cool my squad look, uh, looked as like a gradient of like green to blue, and there was no light coloured card designs in there. Well, things have changed. Things have changed with summer heat, that's for sure, and that's a sign of a good promo, in my eyes. If you can adapt and change your team all the time to fit whatever's currently out, that's a W in my book. So, yeah, I mean, I've changed my kits around. I put like a, a Barca kit and a France kit because Usman is the new uh, the new thing around here. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we could definitely we could definitely make some changes to this squad. Uh, I know that I thought about maybe getting Benzema. Um, th th that's an option still. Uh, maybe a Suarez in there and, and move the, the, the formation around somewhat to make him get chemistry. That would be interesting. <clears throat> I've also kind of wanted to use Tots Hyung Min Son for a long time now. He's well within my budget. I just don't know how we fit him in there. We could put him in at left mid there. Uh, at right mid there, sorry. And he could be on a 7 chem. But then we'd have to swap that. Uh, we'd have to bring Bobby out and put in somebody else. Yeah, we could potentially do that to, to, to switch it up and, and use some different players. Um, <clears throat> but there you go. We're up to 827 with a 24.5k player to sell. And I tell you now, he does sell eventually. So uh, 850,000 coins is what we're sat at. I'm actually really happy. I thought I was going to blow like three or 400k getting that SBC done. But uh, waiting a couple of extra days so that we had a little bit better fodder. We got we got three of the most expensive squads done there for like as cheap as it gets. Basically free. Mental. So I went into an online friendlies match. Um, I mean, Usman Dembele scores after two minutes. Good start, really. Uh, that's what you want. He's playing up front alongside Zlatan. Uh, and we're hoping that he will uh, continue to do madness. And, and again, look at that left stick dribbling. Like I know the defender is nowhere near me there. But the way that I, he, he feels like he's a very agile, quick-turning player, which is obviously what I'm after. Look at the dribbling and the skills and the, the left stick dribbling again there. We don't end up coming away with the goal, but we just weaved our way in and out of the defense. And that made me smile a little bit. I think I made the right decision, in my head anyway. 
Uh, I get concede, I concede a goal to Zidane, so I'm never mad about that. Uh, and at half time, I was 2 1 up against a 4 2 3 1 possession guy who could not stop doing drag backs in online friendlies. Okay, um, but I'm not sure. He might have been a viewer. I, we did message a little bit after the game, and it's all, it's all love and it's all GGs and stuff. Um, I just wondered why why so many drag backs were getting done. It was an, I, I, I it must have been over 50 drag backs in one match. You gotta try and bring some other skills into your repertoire. Is all I'm gonna say. Um, we go three one up. He then gets a goal a few minutes later, uh, and we see, we settle the game at three two to me. Which you know, we get a win. We get two goals on the on the debut of Usman Dembele. I literally just wanted to go into an online friendlies, give him a try, see what he was like. Couldn't be bothered to sweat it in rivals. Turns out it was nearly as a sweaty match in in online friendlies. I think that all FIFA players, including myself, we're all just sweaty these days. It is the way it is. It's never going to be a casual game of FIFA ever again, is there? Uh, I was pleased with Rousselon in that one game. And I actually didn't mind Mendy as a centre-back as well. There's potential to actually work for us there. Obviously, there's no goals on the bio of Dembele because it was a friendly match we played. But he did score twice and I did enjoy him. So hopefully more of that to come. Ribery, Firmino, obviously great as always. We've got lots of five-star skills, lots of five-star weak foots in our attack. Uh, which is heaven on FIFA 20, right? It is exactly what you need when you're doing your drag backs and you're shooting on either foot and you're scooping with the skills. It's what you need. But um, guys, that's going to wrap things up for the episode for today. Uh, one of, if not the biggest SBC player we've done. No, Neymar still tops that one, obviously. One of the biggest SBCs we've done. You know, he sits at 900,000 to a million. That's kind of crazy, right? That's worth a thumbs up. Hit me with a thumbs up. Two and a half thousand likes is the dream. Thank you so much for, for all of your support so far this year. It means the world to me. Subscribe as well if you're new. I thank you for that. And of course, my Twitter and Instagram are down below with my link to Elgato uh, profile page that you guys should check out for sure. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.